The transformation here has just been phenomenal. Of course, it's been a few years since I graduated, so I've seen a lot of change. Just with the physical plant, all the additions of the dorms, of the classrooms, I it's head and shoulders above when I went here, and I thought it was pretty fantastic back then, too. It's great. Every single time we come back, it's um, you still feel like you're coming home, but it's, it's there's something new and gorgeous. If you haven't been to campus in five or six years, you would not recognize it. It is absolutely phenomenal. And Bob Lindgren has done an amazing job. That man has done more for this college than anyone I have met in my 40 years of association with the school. Cheryl and Bob Lindgren have been fabulous for Randolph-Macon. You know, he was the right president at the right time and hopefully he will be here forever. I think the morale of the college has increased dramatically as well as the physical uh, imp imprint of the college. It's, uh, it, but I think it's mainly the spirit and uh, that's been reflected in the activity of the alumni and it's, uh, it's a very exciting time for the college. Today it is a campus that will enable us to compete with the best of the best. And the vision that happened at this college is why I'm engaged today. And it is, it's about connecting with the right people. And we are on the right path. And I'm so proud to be a Yellow Jacket. I've been a really lucky guy to be involved in a very small way through the last almost 10 years and seeing what has happened here at Randolph-Macon. And it has absolutely transformed this school, made it a better school, and I think much, much so for the future. And we've seen it grow from a little bit to a lot, so we're very proud of it. 55 years. It's a lot of years, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's been awesome. We started dating here, so we have a sentimental co connection. Macon is invigorating, inspiring. The changes are wonderful, but what makes Macon are the people, and that hasn't changed. So it's wonderful to have a great, conducive environment. I think we're competitive. I think we're better than ever. Every 10 or 15 years, a place needs to undergo a total transformation. It was Randolph Macon's time and it has attracted a whole new breed, a whole new type of student. It's attracted a whole new enthusiasm with the alumni base, and even with people who aren't connected to Randolph-Macon, they've generated a whole new interest in the school. It's been amazing to see all the new buildings go up and the new fields. Um, they've really helped to recruit new students, which has been amazing. The campus becomes more beautiful every day, and as much as I loved it, it was love at first sight for me many years ago, I could not be happier about what's happening and it's evidence of how much the alumni love this college. I've been here since 1980 and in the last 10 years the transformation has exploded and it is wonderful. It's a beautiful campus, it's impressive for our recruits and our prospective students and wow, well, we just need to keep on going. This place is so special to me because so many people invested in me. My coaches, my professors, Bill Hesse, who I talk about all the time, invested so much in me. I took away from this place so much that I owe a debt I could never repay, except by making sure that others have the same opportunity I had. I met Catherine here, and um, uh, all my greatest friends are, are here, and I, I credit this place with my career and everything else. So uh, every, it's, it's, it's easy to come back and um, give thanks for uh, what the, what the college did for us. We met here uh, and... Uh, we got married here. By Ira Andrews, six days after graduation. So it means a lot to us and it's been very exciting to see all of the changes. I have met my best friends here. Uh, my college roommate, I was paired up with randomly uh, before our freshman year and we've been best friends ever since. If it wasn't for Randolph-Macon, there wouldn't be a Steve Long as we know him today. And I wouldn't be the physician I am. I wouldn't be the public servant that I've loved to become because of Randolph-Macon. I wouldn't have had the mentors who've changed my life. Um, I wouldn't be the father and the husband because Randolph-Macon taught me for the last 35 years to do one thing and that's to give and to give back. So I owe everything to this place and I say that in all earnest and it gives me goosebumps and it gives me tears because this is really the best hidden secret in the world.